Hi, this is Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and The Light Away in Huntsville, Alabama. Today, we're going to talk about the COVID-19 vaccine as it relates to diabetes. Should I get the COVID-19 vaccine if I'm diabetic? That's the question we're going to answer. Let's get started. All right, well, welcome back, everybody. Um, another uh, great topic that we're going to talk about today, the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, and as it relates to diabetes, should I get the vaccine? I've been getting lots of questions about when I can get the vaccine, should I get the vaccine, where am I going to get the vaccine, and we'll, a we'll answer those questions uh, today. First of all, we want to talk a little bit about diabetes itself. We know that there are currently 34.2 million people in the United States that have diabetes. 7.3 million of those don't know that they're diabetic. So we have a group of people that are out there who are having higher blood sugars, but they are not aware of it. We also have 88 million people that are pre-diabetics. That is people who have blood sugars that are higher than normal, but not high enough to be considered diabetes. Why are we concerned about diabetes as it relates to COVID-19? If you haven't already done so, we did a video uh, and it's entitled, I have diabetes, what if I get COVID-19? That answers a lot of questions about why it's important uh, as a diabetic to know um, how to manage your diabetes, what your risk factors are, and so forth. So we're going to put a link up. Uh, go ahead and watch that one. But in terms of diabetes, we're concerned because people with diabetes have an increased risk of complications should they contract COVID-19. When we talk about the 88 million people that are pre-diabetic, they are also at increased risk because uh, being obese, having an elevated BMI, also puts a patient uh, or person at increased risk. So if we combine those two numbers, we're talking about over 100 million people that potentially can have complications should they contract COVID-19. Currently, there are um, over 24 million people in the United States that have been diagnosed with COVID-19 and a little over 400,000 that have lost their lives as a result of COVID-19. So we're talking about about 54.4 uh, persons per every 100,000 people that um, have died because of COVID-19. So we want to make sure that, you know, we are taking care of our diabetes, that we are following up with our uh, diabetes care team so that we are um, controlling blood sugars, so that we are managing our weight if we're pre-diabetic. Uh, we also did a video on pre-diabetes, how to avoid progressing to diabetes. We'll put that link up above as well. Okay, so those three questions. One, should I get the COVID-19 vaccine? Number two, when can I get the COVID-19 vaccine? And number three, where can I get it? And I'm going to answer those. We're going to go backwards um, in, in these questions. Number one, where can you get it? The fact is, uh, currently, even though the CDC makes recommendations, each state is in charge of administering their own uh, vaccine. So I would recommend checking with your um, health department, uh, talk with your primary care team, and they can direct you on how to register. There's actually a registration system and they will point you to the location. Here in our area, um, in addition to registering with the Department of Health, uh, the hospitals also are administering the vaccine. With the new administration in Washington, they are saying that they are planning to open up a lot more locations, um, pharmacies, um, retail stores, and uh, allowing more people to be able to administer uh, the vaccine. They are planning to mobilize an entire system that gives better access to locations to have the vaccine uh, given. The second question was, when can I get it? There's a phased program, phase one being healthcare personnel and frontline and long-term care um, 
and people in long-term care facilities. Uh, the next, uh, 1B, frontline workers such as firefighters, police workers, um, teachers, and then phase 1C, people 65 to 74 <clears throat> who have pre-existing conditions, and then people 16 to 64, and then other essential workers. Once again, with the new administration, they are indicating that um, they would like to expand the access um, more uh, to expand the eligibility to people who are 65 and up. Okay, so rather than that tiered system, um, they'd like to expand it to 65 and up and getting through those essential, those frontline workers as quickly as possible so that we can uh, vaccinate others. And also not reserving the second dose of the vaccine um, for people who have already had the first. So what they're planning to do, at least the idea is that if we can get as many people with that first dose by the time people are ready for the second dose, we'll have another supply coming through. And then finally, the question, should I get the vaccine? Um, as you may have heard, as you've seen in our video, uh, people who are diabetic, people who have diabetes, people who have other underlying conditions are at increased risk, not for contracting the disease, but, all, but for complications once they get the disease. So the current recommendation is that as soon as possible, unless there is a contraindication that people who have diabetes, people who are at increased risk, should get the vaccine when available. We're looking forward to seeing a lot of new things with the administration, um, more vaccination, more locations, and an expanded ex uh, eligibility program for people to get the vaccine. If you've had the vaccine, go ahead and drop that in our comments. Let us know, did, are you, did you have any side effects? Are you diabetic? Are your blood sugars controlled, what your A1C is? Um, just let us know what's been going on with you as we uh, try to um, all work together to make sure everyone is safe. Also, if you've not subscribed, um, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell so that things, uh, new programs that come out, you'll get those. And then in the comments, also let us know what, what kinds of things would you like to, for us to talk about, right? What other things do you want to hear about? Thank you for spending some time with us. This is Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and The Light Away in Huntsville, Alabama, educating the public for a better you.